This month marks my three years of officially relocating to Lagos. Before now, I've always wanted to visit Lagos to enjoy life. I thought Lagos is a small Londo. At some point, I saved a certain amount of money that I would that will take me to and fro Lagos. I arranged with a friend who lives in Lagos that I will join him during the semester break. However, the Lagos I dreamt of wasn't the one I met when I finally came in. I was surprised to see beggars, especially kids, requesting money on the streets, let alone those that sleep under the bridge. Each time I see them, I feel pity for both the children and the parents, but at some point, I had mixed feeling. Why I feel pity for the women who have become baby factories without a divine source of income? The second thought dropped in me, and I was like, how on earth will the man jump on a poor lady who already has five to six kids, or even more than, and still impregnates her? Come to think of it, these children they give birth to don't observe personal hygiene, they are not properly fed, don't even talk of the breast milk that was given to them after birth. Education is alien to them. Well, I believe that there is hope for these children. It is in line of this that I will be sharing with you the subject SDG. SDG is an acronym for Sustainable Development Goals. The 2012 United Nations Conference held in Brazil gave birth to Sustainable Development Goals. And the objective was to produce a set of universal goals that meet the urgent environmental, political and economic challenges. Sustainable development has been defined as meeting the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of the future generation to meet their needs. SDGs replace the MDGs, that is the Millennium Development Goals, which started in 2000. And the MDGs are eight in number. And for 15 years, it drove progress in several areas which are not limited to reducing income poverty, providing access to water and sanitation, driving down child mortality, and drastically improving maternal health. The SDGs are 17 in number, and it offers a framework and blueprint for achieving sustainable global prosperity. They are adopted as a universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that by 2030, all people enjoy peace and prosperity and all these 70 goals they are interconnected meaning that success in one is success in all among these 17 goals i'm passionate about goal one three four and 17 but i'll be talking about goal one three and 17 today so i want to give you 20 seconds to study these goals and thereafter You'll be required to state the goals that you are passionate about so you have 20 seconds to study this slide and tell me the goal that you are passionate about so for me i'm passionate about goal one three four and seventeen so in my next slide i'll be asking you the question and the question is which of the 17 sustainable development goals are you passionate about you can either type in the chat or unmute your mic Thank you very much. For me, the first goal is no poverty. Poverty eradication remains one of the greatest challenges facing humanity. Why the number of people living in extreme poverty dropped more than half between 1990 and 2015, many are still struggling for basic needs, food, portable water, and sanitation. Data available on the United Nations Development Program website as in that, as of 2015, about 736 million people still live on less than 1.9 US dollars in a day, and 10% of the world population lives in extreme poverty. Good health and well-being are essential to sustainable development. Go 3 has 13 targets and 28 indicators, and some of these are reduction of maternal mortality, ending all preventable deaths on the 5 years of age, fighting communicable diseases, ensuring reduction of mortality and non-communicable disease, as well as promoting mental health. According to the United Nations Development Program report, about 7 million people die every year from exposure to fine particles in the polluted air. 
And this reminded me of the retreat that we had at IITA. I love the serene and spacious environment, the well-structured layouts, access to natural air. Talk more of the trees and the flowers that were used for beautification. The forest tour is an activity I will never forget in a jiffy. I saw many trees. I also had the opportunity to see or to learn about their benefits. Here is a bamoda. It is popularly called the miracle leaf, life plants, and never die. And the botanical name is Graphylum pinatum. This leaf can be soaked in cold water overnight. You can also boil it or squeeze it. And the extra that you obtain from it can be used to treat ailments. And then you can also consume it as tea. And then you can also blend it into juice. And this tree or this leaf is a blood purifier and then it can also be used to treat high blood flare. The aim of the 17th goal is to strengthen the means of implementing and revitalizing the global partnership for sustainable development, promote international trade, help developing countries to increase their exports as well as ensure fair trading system. I believe in team spirits. The SDGs can only be realized with strong global partnership and cooperation. Let us keep living and preaching sustainable development till we all see a new dawn in our land. Together, we can turn the whole world into a better place, habitable for everyone to live in.